guys. This is a Zelina Shomo from House of Cake Fairies. I'm back again. Excuse me. Today I want to show you how to make sweethearts and also explain um, coloring of cakes. I know a lot of people do the rainbow cake and it's easy to do with your kids. And one of my friends, uh, shout out Malika, uh, AKA Puff, her and her daughter, they do all types of cute stuff together. So they were baking a cake and she said, we made a rainbow cake and um, they really didn't care for the way it tastes, but it looked nice. So personally, you want to keep it simple. You want to use a white base cake mix. And then what I do is um, I add almond flavor, cream cheese flavor, and you want to use some white food coloring, okay? You want to use white food coloring so that it comes out the color that you need it. This is blue, and it comes out a nice shade too. This is green. We have purple. And we have yellow, okay? Now, so you just mix those up. You don't use a lot, um, but you definitely want to smell the flavor without putting your nose in it. You want to be able to smell it. If you can smell it, then it's right. Excuse me for one second. Okay, I'm back guys. Okay, so um, we're gonna do something really simple. We're gonna use a, a heart cutter and we're just gonna make some of the sweethearts. And of course, they're gonna say, you're cute, you know, uh, text me and things of that nature, okay? Really easy. Something cute for the kids to, you know, sell. And something, it's a nice gift for the kids to, you know, give away. So, you're going to cut this layer of brown off because it's the sticky side. And you don't really want it sticky, so you can do what you need to do with it, okay? So, we're just going to cut a thin layer of this off. This is actually the belly. Now, when you lay down these cakes, I use a uh, quarter sheet pan. So you're gonna use, you know, the same thing. You're gonna use a quarter sheet pan. And for, I would use, depending on how many colors you wanna make, I would do, one box per two colors. So you need three boxes if you want six colors, okay? And you wanna make sure when you lay them down, it's nice and even. Then, okay, now that we've got our brown part off, okay, it doesn't it look more bluer? All right. Then you're gonna flip it over and you see this part has a little bit of a um, brown on it too from baking. Now you're not gonna cut this like how we cut the other side. You're gonna shave it. You're gonna shave it with a knife, okay? You see what I'm doing? Because you don't wanna cut, it's already so thin, you don't wanna cut too much off, okay? So you're just gonna take the knife across it and shave it just so you can have the color you need because this is gonna be our top, okay? Whenever you have a belly, your belly is always your bottom. Your top is always the flat, thin side, whatever, or the flat side, but not usually the part with your belly, okay? So, instead of belly up, belly down, okay? Y'all following me? Alrighty. Now, 
Now, you see how much I shaved off of there? I'm just gonna put this in the trash here. Now, I'm going to cut this cake open. And once again, this is a tricky part, okay? You definitely want to make sure that you're cutting. You want to cut all the way around to make sure that you get it. And you want to cut kind of at the top, not at the bottom, because if you cut too much at the bottom, you're not going to get you're not going to get it cut all the way across. You're actually going to be missing some from the bottom, okay? Now I was going to take that off, but I'm going to show you guys the right way. Mwah. So whenever you're splitting cakes, that's what this is called, to fill them with buttercream, you're going to take um, especially half sheets, quarter sheets, and full sheets. You want to take a board and you just want to uh, put that top so when you pick it up, you're not fighting with it. Because remember, it is cake now. bags to ice and cakes because um, I feel like sometimes when you're um, when you use just a spatula you just put the icing on there you have to shape it you have to it's a lot of this going on when you use a bag you don't have to do that all you have to do you kind of have a shape all you have to do is really smooth it out okay take that note down because that is very important see Smooth, boom, smooth, boom, back, boom, side, boom, okay? That's all I got to do. Let me take this off here, put that on that corner right there. It doesn't have to be perfect because remember, we're covering it up. And I'm going to lay my cake back down, okay? Alrighty. You all ready? It's very simple. We're going to take I'm going to clean it. Now I want to do one more, one more blue one. You also want to do this when the um, cakes are a little cold. I have them cooling. Well, um, they actually were frozen. So... I let them thaw out, but I let them thaw out a little too, too much, so it was a little hard. They're a little breaky, so we're going to do the best we can, okay? And it's always good to make extras, just a little extra, because you always want to make sure that you have one to practice, and you don't really want to give your customer something that's imp imperfect. Imperfect, so... You know, we're probably only going to use three, but I cut out four, okay?
yet. So with each color, I'm going to wipe Just wiping off the crumbs from the other color. That's it. Also, some of these have flaws at the top, so I'm just flipping them over, okay? You just use whichever side is best, okay? This time I'm doing a darker color. I usually start light to dark, but um, I just started going. So now since I'm doing the uh, lighter, the lightest color, which are the yellow ones, I'm definitely going to wash this and rinse this off, you know, just to make sure that none of the other colors are on my yellow, okay? See how I can make a mess? I can make a mess real fast. Sit down. sure my area don't have as many crumbs just in case I need to flip them over see you see that see how this has imperfections on this side this size dump so this is the size I'm gonna use side all righty I got four four and four so what are some quotes we can write on here from the sweethearts and remember what i told y'all about the bags how me personally that little part on the side can really get in the way and you got to watch it once you cut this off too because this is can get in the icing or something so just be careful i'm gonna take my bag and i'm gonna cut that off Okay, I'm going to write on the side over here a little bit. We're going to practice. So we're going to do what? I love you. What does the sweetheart say? 
See, these are the type of videos I would love to do live so that you guys could tell me what's going on. I haven't ate a sweetheart in years. I know that some of the new ones say text me. So we'll write text me on there. But the first thing we want to do is make sure that our flow in our bag is good. Okay? So we're going to write text me over here. We want to make sure that our bag is not too big, not too small. And we want to make sure that our icing is flowing real good. Because if it's not, all you need to do is add some um, corn syrup to it, okay? To give it a nice little flow. And you're just going to write as if you was writing a letter. You know, a lot of people can be scared to write. But don't be scared to write, you know? It's... Practice makes perfect, okay? Don't be scared to write, okay? So, we're going to write. Text me. I love you. Let's do. Now they follow me for the new generation. Mm-hmm. What else is something? Oh, you're cute. Let's see, what's another one? Do kiss me. Cutie pie, excuse me for one second, okay? The cutie pie, gonna do Be Mine. I'm gonna do another, um, let's do another text me.
my cutie pie is a little off because of the wording um, when you're doing stuff with uh, letterings when you have to write you kind of always want to go over them first a little bit as if you were uh, practicing so you need because you want to know how big you have to write okay do it so let's do another year cute Hubba Bubba. Hubba Bubba. Alrighty. Now, let me see. I'm actually about to get my phone and look and see if we can find some other ones. Know some more than just the average ones. I want to do cutie pie again because my cutie pie, remember, I was talking about how you know you have to trace it first sometimes. Lot better, lot better. Okay. Not bad, huh? What's our timing looking like? Oh no, twenty four. Twenty four. Minutes, so that means this video is going to be another 30 minutes. Eventually, I'm probably going to have someone edit the videos and all of that type of stuff, but right now we're just keeping it all the way trill, authentic. Okay, some more bear with me guys this is something I should have done before I started. But like I said, we are learning. I should have had my quotes ready to go.
Okay. Let's do love book. I got one that says, let's read. I mean, reading is fundamental, but we're not putting that on ours, okay? That's why I made that little face if, if y'all seen that face I made. Oh, I can put hug me. That one wasn't on here, but I just remembered that one. see for the last one the last one come on come on marry me be mine oh we're just gonna make this one up be back i'm sure we put be my bae we'll just put be bae for now enjoy my videos I really do hope they're informative not too boring and all of that and before I get out of here I would like to shout out the Bay team okay I want to shout out my girl Lisey baby I want to shout out me and more I want to shout out May May I want to shout out India, Nyla Poo, Nyla Perfectly Perfect. It's two Nylas. Imani. I'm sorry guys, I'm bad at multitasking. <laughs> so I'm trying to put these in a box, right? And I'm thinking, but at the same time, um, I'm trying to call out everybody. I don't really want to forget anyone. Um, Kyla. I know I said India. Um, I think that was everybody. I mean, these are cute. I would buy them. I would definitely buy these. Show you guys what it did. Look, I'm trying over here. <laughs> I really am. Yeah, I like them. Not that bad, huh? Now, this whitener, this whitener is very important when you're doing your um, colors, like I told you before, so the colors can come out a little more brighter. And um, I buy mine through uh, a wholesale place, through a deco pack, but you can get yours at Michael's or at Hobby Lobby. Um, they have them, it's just a gel whitener 
okay? It's very important when you want to do colors. And remember, you use just a cap full of cream cheese flavor extract and a cap full of almond extract, okay? And, um, and it's one cap full per, you know, um, half a box of cake mix, okay? I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed my video.